folks, uh, this lesson is um, uh, in between the solving absolute value inequalities. This is uh, just compound and special cases where we get um, uh, no solution, all real numbers and stuff. So anyways, you guys, or graphs uh, means everything that's being graphed. And graph means only the overlapping part or the intersection parts right there. Okay, so just remember, ors are everything being graphed and and is... Uh, uh, the intersection part. Okay, so here we go. So it says graph uh, and state the solution. Okay, so I'm starting off with some real easy ones just to talk about the difference of these special cases. Okay, so we're going to graph uh, x greater than 2, so open circle on 2 right here, going to the right, x greater than or equal to 3, so close circle right here. So there they are individually right here, and this says or. So or means everything that's being graphed between the two. So if I uh, squeeze these two together right here, everything that's being graphed, the graphing starts right here. So the solution is going to be um, uh, everything that's being graphed. So x is greater than uh, 2. Okay, so this graph right here covers both of these graphs right here. It's everything being graphed. That's the solution. Okay, so if we had an and right here, okay, so we graph the same ones, you guys. So there, And then the and is where they overlap, the intersection part right here. So they don't start intersecting until right here. So, so this one's going to be the intersection part right there so it's uh, x is greater than or equal to 3 is that part right there okay all right and then here's an or where they go in opposite directions okay so uh, so close circle on negative 2 close and going to the left and then close circle on on 3 going to the right and so there they are individually and then when we squeeze them together this is a or, so this means everything that's being graphed. So it's the uh, the blue and the red right here. I'm at school out in the parking lot, so you're hearing uh, teachers get to school and slamming doors and stuff. Anyway. Uh, there's the solution for this graph. Okay, now if we did that same graph with an AND, you guys, okay, so this is an AND statement. So where do these graphs overlap? Well, they don't overlap, so this one would be a, a no solution right there because there is no intersection for the AND part right there, okay? All right, and then uh, let's see. So so this one's going to be a closed circle on negative 2 right here, and this says shaded to the right. The inequality tells us which way to shade as long as X is on the left right here. This is a closed circle on negative 3, shade, I'm sorry, on positive 3, shaded to the left, okay? This is an AND right here, so AND means intersection, so they intersect in this middle region right here from negative 2 to negative 3, okay? So um, uh, negative 2 less than or equal to x less than or equal to 3, okay? All right, one more of these easy ones, then we'll start doing the hard stuff here, okay? So this one's an OR statement, so we're going to go ahead and graph these guys, okay? Now, OR is everything, so it's it's from negative 2 going this way, and it includes all of these because it's everything on an OR, and positive 3 going this way, so it's the whole number line that's being shaded between the two, so it's all real numbers on that one, okay? So that's the solution on that. All right, let's try some uh, algebra here. Okay, so this is an OR statement, so it's everything being graphed. Okay, we'll deal with this one first. So here I think I'm going to go minus Q minus Q and at the same time plus one plus one right there okay and then so we get uh, Q um, uh, greater than or equal to 2 okay so here we're going to divide both sides by negative 11 remember when we divide by a negative it flips that inequality okay so we get um, uh, Q is uh, less than 3 right there okay so when we graph those guys individually uh, there they are individually, and this is a OR statement, so OR is everything being graphed between the blue and the red. So here again, the whole number line is being shaded on this one, so it's all real numbers, okay? Now if it was an AND, it would go from closed negative 2 to open positive 3 right there, if it was an AND statement, okay? All right, let's try this one here. Okay, so what we got to do first is distribute that 2 through the parentheses right there. You guys with me? And then we'll combine uh, these like terms. 4 plus 1 is 5 right there. Okay, now we'll subtract 5 from everything. All right, when we subtract 5, we get um, uh, a negative 5 minus 5 is negative 10. Be careful with that, you guys. All right, and then uh, here we're going to divide by negative 2. Remember, when we divide by negatives, it flips them back the other way. Okay, so negative 10 divided by negative 2 is 5, and 4 divided by negative 2 is negative 2. Okay, so this is the bigger number now, and this is the smaller number. So we're going to switch it around and put the negative 2 over here. 
and the five over here and it's going to flip those inequalities around can you see how um, it's still pointing at the negative two so it's still pointing at the negative two right there okay and between these two guys it's pointing at the x so it's pointing at the x okay this is an and graph right here and graphs uh, whenever they're written with this x stuff in the middle i should have said that at the beginning this is an and uh, graph right here so so it's uh, the intersection of those two so there's the the graph of those okay open circle on five closed on negative two okay all right uh, okay, so this is another AND graph right here, okay? So when they're written like this, the X stuff in the middle, these represent AND statements. So we're looking for the intersection of where these guys overlap. Okay, plus 12, plus 12, plus 12. Be careful, negative 33 plus 12 is negative 21. Over here, this is negative 14. Then we're going to divide by negative 7. When we divide by negative 7, it's going to flip those. Whoops, I forgot to put the fraction bars underneath there. So a fraction line, a fraction line, a fraction line goes right there okay and uh, so we get that right there okay now now this is a tricky one you guys it looks like it's shaded in between two and three but if I wrote this as a and statement you guys this is a this is saying the same thing as X greater than or equal to uh, three and at the same time X is less than two so where these guys intersect here's just think of uh, here's zero Here's 2, less than is this way, and then 3 is over here, greater than or equal to is this way. They don't intersect, so it's no solution on that one, okay? All right, I didn't graph them individually, and so, but they just don't intersect. Okay, here's another and setup right here, okay? So we're looking for intersection. This one's kind of tricky. All right, let's get rid of the 17 right here. Okay, so when we add 17, we get that right there. Now, typically, I would divide everything by negative 4, but because of this uh, 27 and this 26, I can't divide everything by negative 4 right there because, um, uh, well, you can. We just get fractions right there. So let's just treat them separately. We'll treat this side separately and then treat this side separately. And it's an AND statement where we are um, uh, looking for the intersection of these two. Okay. All right. So let's go ahead and um, uh, we'll put all the X's on one side. So I'm going to subtract uh, this 5X here and, and add this 2x here okay so negative 4x minus 5x is negative 9x and then negative 4 plus 2 is negative 2 all right we're going to divide by negatives it's going to flip those inequalities right there okay so there we go and we get that issue right there okay now let's see if we can um, uh, put these together whoops I, I hit my finger too much so so x less than negative 3 so negative 3 here's 0 negative 3 would be like right there less than is that way Greater than 13 is that way. Negative 13 is that way. So there's our graph answer right there. Okay. So um, uh, we'd write it like this. So we'd write the algebra answer just like that right there. Okay. All right. I don't have time to do that one. Uh, maybe we'll have time in class. And then you guys are going to have uh, that worksheet. Take care.